My name is Stuart Silverman. Uh, I'm Dean of the Honors College here at the University. I came to USF in 1970 and uh, in 1987 I was lucky enough to become the second director of the USF uh, Honors Program. In uh, 2002, we went from program to college status, and um, in the end of 2002, I became the first dean of the Honors College. So I have just finished uh, 25 years with the Honors at USF. The Honors College is a home for uh, very bright students. The first class that I admitted in 1987, the fall, was the largest class that had been admitted to date, and it was 50 students. This year, I think that we will enroll about 550 students. My two favorites um, have to do with uh, things that I never got the chance to do. Uh, one of them is music. There are just an awful lot of students who love music, but when they come to the university, they're going to be engineering majors or business majors or psychology majors, and the instrument goes and gathers dust in a closet at home, and I just, I, I, I just won't let that happen. We have, in the last two years, begun to put international experiences right in our classes. So if you take the class, you go on the trip. More than 100 of our students this year took advantage of those opportunities, and they are not the same people getting off the plane as they were getting on the plane. We never know who is going to be the star, and so one of our philosophies is every student deserves whatever attention we can give him or her for me, the highlight is looking at the faces as I take the card and read the name. And it is just very clear that for most of our students, this is the shining moment of their life. One thing that I've learned is that students are very willing to listen. The other thing I've learned is that most students are not selfish. Most students are giving. They care, they want to help others. The other thing that I've learned from students is that they're appreciative. They understand when people try to help them and they tend to tell people that they appreciate being helped and that's kind of a neat feeling. And Mr. Storley took five pieces of metal and molded them into this statue, and the faculty member could not find the places where the welds had been done. Those are three of, of my favorite things, and when he graduated, he uh, absolutely shocked me by saying, I'd like you to have these. And a couple of years ago, five of our students went to Ohio, and their job was to help install countertops in the houses. And so she led the four or five students um, in an effort to make this skateboard out of a counter that they had cut. And um, uh, even better than that, when they came back, they um, taught me how to skateboard, and I can almost make it up and down the hall without falling. Almost. And every couple of weeks, I will hear from a graduate that I haven't heard from in 10 years, and um, I'm no longer shocked when they tell me how well they're doing. So um, watching students walk across the stage and then hearing from um, them along the way is absolutely fantastic for me. It really is. I like the students. I, I, I like the people I work with. I like the university's commitment to undergraduate education. I like the campus and how it's changing and uh, uh, becoming even more beautiful. And so when I put that whole package together, I can't imagine what I would rather be doing or where I'd rather be doing it. <laughs>